The sun is hanging low on the skyline On the sleepy old Ohio town And the people think the change is the devil So the sun is not allowed to go down And the driver's eyes are glued to the rear view Cause his car is always in reverse And if you race to where you've already been Then you are always gonna get there first Yeah, welcome to the town of a sundown Welcome to the town of a sundown Welcome to the land the time forgot Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown Well, it sure ain't much, but it's the only town I got Every time I open the paper To the letters, to the editor page The troglodytes who can't keep their mouths shut They've really got me in a few minute rage The self-appointed king of the virtues Trying to sell us what we threw away He's a dumpster diving prophet He could rule the USA Yeah, welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the land that time forgot Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown Well, the sure ain't much, but it's the only town I've got This is what our children inherit It's what our parents left behind for us The trophies in your grandpa's old basement With a thicker coat of rust and dust I guess there's nothing left to discover So let's just park our cars and arrest Cause the mission here's accomplished Don't it feel like a success? Yeah, welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the land the time for God Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown Well, the sure ain't much, but it's the only town I've got Welcome to the town of the sundown Welcome to the town of the sundown. Welcome to the land the time for God. Welcome to the town of the sundown. Welcome to the town of the sundown. Well, it sure ain't much, but it's the only town I've got. stand like trees by the cover of a willow he got down on his knees he buried all of his hopes and dreams there beside quiet stream and waited for the summer to make them bloom with the shovel in his sore hands he dug a hole so Dream plants 
sudden down to sleep The secret thoughts Yeah, they all went down Buried in The stony ground And waited For the summer To make them blue Nothing ever grew The ground laid fallow Only dirt beneath his shoes Some dreams Are just meant to stay Locked cage, the seed is dead and broken, will never bloom. The seed is dead and broken, will never bloom. Flutter by a butterfly into the sky, into the sky till you're out of sight. And I won't run, I won't fight. Oh, oh, oh. I've got my feet on the ground. Say the word, I will be there, I will be there with my hands held high, and I will reach to the sky. Oh, oh, I've got my feet on the ground. Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Uh, project this week, uh, it's another combination of turning on the lathe and some scroll saw work again. And that was the final piece. And I've basically finished that off with a couple of three coats of Danish oil. Now the inspiration for this one came from uh, a video I watched that Steve Good had done and I will leave a link below and I'll leave it directly to the video because if you have an interest in woodwork full stop um, a bit more than just turning please please do watch that video because I'll, I'll just give a quick explanation uh, he went to visit a studio of an artist called Judy Gale Roberts and she basically has this 
massive studio of all this work on the walls for sale. I mean, I hate to imagine how much any of the pieces are. Watch the video from the beginning because you'll see Steve as he approaches the place and the setting that it's in, surrounded by trees and everything. It really is a gorgeous place. But like I say, watch it because all of her work is basically different pieces of wood like this. Now, none of them are colours, they're all natural wood and she picks out the grain orientation to fit the suit this thing as well uh, I mean for example there'll be a picture of I think there's a, a, a piece with a man sort of like in a suit and where the stripes of his suit go one way and then a different way it's all chosen with the grain when I did this I mean I basically spotted the flower uh, when I was searching through all the Google images uh, I knew what I wanted and, and I can't remember whether this was an original picture that I then just, when I put it in Photoshop, I just pulled out the edges and stuff like that. Um, and it just, and the reason I chose this was basically the, as it's a sort of like a side view of the flower itself, you can instantly see, pick sort of like the layers as they go back. And that's what I want to do, so that when I actually cut these pieces, and you'll see when I was putting it through the plane of thickener, uh, I would put it through at the thickest piece first of all, cut out the pieces that were nearest to me. I would then run it through the planer again just to take another half a millimetre, a millimetre off it and then cut the next piece and carry on and down. Once I've got my image, I knew what size the, the end flower was going to be. So it's just a case of obviously when I, when I turned the platter, bowl, whatever you want to call it to start with, uh, I knew really how much of a size I've got to leave here for the flat area and to just allow a bit of space around it. So the, the whole piece, it's all oak. Um, and like I say, it's, everything was sanded to, I think, 400 grit. Uh, lots of hand sanding on the flower itself. Uh, all the pieces around the edges and everything like that. And like I say, just giving that a couple of coats of Danish oil. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing that. It was an awful lot of work to make sure that these sections join together. So if this is your first time here, uh, please do subscribe. I put up regular project videos. I mean, the wood turning videos go up usually every Sunday. Um, I've got scroll saw project videos that I'm doing, which go up most Wednesdays. Um, and at least if you subscribe, you get notified. And again, f if you're an existing subscriber or a new subscriber, uh, where it says the bit next to subscribe, click on the little bell there and tick the box what opens up and okay it and at least you'll then get totally notified every time i upload a video for my existing subscribers again as you per usual a big big thank you very much it really is most appreciated you keep coming back so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next project video bye